Welcome back to my quick tips. With Zoom's new update, you can now have high fidelity stereo audio in your Zooms. What that means, with a little help from Loopback Audio, you will be able to broadcast your DAW in stereo to someone on the other end. So if you're a teacher, a producer, or somebody who wants to just share music at high quality over Zoom, you can now do this. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps that I use to set up my DAW so that I can broadcast that audio. In part two of this video, I will show you how to do remote recording using their remote control function, and I will be able to control someone else's DAW while they record. So stick around. To start off with, the first thing you want to do is you want to log into your online Zoom account. You're going to go to zoom.us, log in, and then click on My Account. Once you're in My Account, you're going to click on the Settings tab. There are tons of settings on Zoom Online that allow your desktop browser to have more functionality. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure that three settings are on. So I'm gonna use the Command F function and type in stereo to jump down right to the stereo area. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure we have checked allow users to select stereo audio in their client settings, make sure that's on, and allow users to select original sound in their client settings. So the third setting that we need to do is remote control. So type in remote control in your find field and make sure that this is on. It's on if it's blue. And this allows us during screen sharing to have another person control our computer or we can control someone else's computer. Once you set this up here, you can now move on to your Zoom browser and make sure that that is the latest edition. At the time of this video, I'm running 5.2.3 and this gives me all the functionality I need. There are some settings that are going to be set up in Zoom. We'll go to Zoom, Preferences. We'll go back later and set up the speaker and microphone settings, but for now, in the audio tab, we're going to make sure that suppressed background noise is on low, and we're gonna change the automatically adjust background volume, and we're gonna turn that off. We'll go into the advanced settings by clicking on the bottom. Echo cancellation is on auto. Show in meeting option for original audio sound for microphone, and high fidelity music mode and stereo audio are selected. Once you've done this, you can get out of Zoom and we'll go back to it later. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up your Utilities folder and go to Audio MIDI Setup. You can get straight to the Utilities folder when you're in Finder by hitting Shift-Command-U on a Mac. Here in this folder, you'll find Audio MIDI Setup, and you're going to want to go to your audio interface. In my case, it's a Universal Audio Apollo 8P. Here, we're going to set the output on our configure speakers is you need to set them to virtual one and virtual two. This is the left and right virtual output from UAD. Once you do that, you can click done and get out of there. The next setting you're gonna to wanna to check is the output of your DAW. The output of your DAW should be set to your audio interface. Again, in my case, it's the Universal Audio Thunderbolt for both output and input. This next section can be a little bit confusing for non-UAD users, so let me go over this as if I'm not using a UAD audio interface. The input and output assignment of your of your DAW, whether it's Logic or Live or whatever, can generally be set to stereo output. And that output you can route in loopback audio to Zoom. In my case, because I'm using console in order to monitor my UAD system, I'm going to send the output of my DAW to virtuals 1 and 2. And in my set setting, that's output 11 and 12. What that corresponds to in console, which is specific to UAD, is virtual channels one and two in console. And if I play my logic, you'll also notice my microphone is routed uh, to channel four in my UAD setup and I have it muted so it doesn't play back through my speakers. Why this is important, is that in loopback audio, the outputs from console may confuse you from the outputs from logic. But here you see microphone number four, a microphone is coming in from channel number four, and I split it so that it's stereo into channels left and right, even though it's a mono input signal. And then console, when it's putting its output, is coming out of 19 and 20. And if you're not sure what channels console is outputting for you, you can go into console settings and look at the virtual outputs, or you can just press play on your DAW and then So in my case, I saw it coming up at 19 and 20, and I outputted that to uh, the output of 
loopback audio. It does come up on 11 and 12, but for some reason, I do not know why this audio does not bleed through if I put it to the output channel. So I'm just ignoring 11 and 12 for now. That could correspond to the virtual channels coming from Logic. I've also set up a the possibility for having my iMac Pro microphone on in case I didn't have a microphone set up in my, in my studio setup. All I would do is turn this on and then my microphone is enabled from my iMac Pro. Now, the final thing that we need to do is set up Zoom so that the output of Zoom is going to my interface, which is Universal Audio Thunderbolt. This is my, my audio interface. And the input is the UAD and or iMac mic pass-through. This is the loopback, which I just showed you. Here we go, named here. And then this audio is flowing directly into Zoom. And there you have it. That's basically all you have to do to do the routing. Um, once you have it set up, you can leave it like this. Loopback audio runs in the background. It will not interfere with any of your audio settings unless you do some need to do some other routing. And you get stereo, high fidelity stereo sound from your DAW into Zoom. But I have one final setting that needs to happen. When you start your Zoom video or your video chat, you need to make sure in the left-hand corner, turn on original sound is available. You get this setting once you turn, turn on these settings from your online account. And once you start your video, you need to press turn on original sound. If it says turn off original sound, that means you're using original sound and that will give you the high fidelity stereo audio that you need for your sessions. One other thing that you need is when you do a screen share, you click screen share, you, you want to make sure that you share computer sound. Check that and share computer sound. That will also give you the high fidelity once you're doing a, sh a screen share. If you forget any of these steps, your session will be in mono or it will sound a little bit funny. So I would just back up with the Zoom call and make sure this works. And there you have it. High fidelity Zoom video chats through Zoom using loopback audio. I hope this really helps you and helps you do your teaching, your productions. And in the next video, I'll show you how to use Zoom's remote control feature to control another producer's DAW and do remote recording. It's brilliant. So make sure you check out part two of this video. Until next time, give me a subscribe down below. You can follow me at Ming's Music and happy music making.